Chris Tyson is leaving the Mr. Beast team, and this is crazy. He released an apology and everything, dude. I personally thought it was insane that he'd even be willing to do that to the world after all that controversy, and I couldn't believe it when he finally decided to. For those of you who don't know, Chris Tyson is a friend of Mr. Beast who appeared in many of his videos and is currently on Hormones to Transition. But after so many weeks of controversy over this decision and multiple videos made on him in response, he decided to apologize for his choice in this tweet here. I wanted to apologize for damaging the Mr. Beast brand. Before I decided to transition, I didn't think of the harm it could potentially do to the sales of the Mr. Beast burger and the Mr. Beast chocolate bars. I really should have thought of it more. I have to agree with Sunny V2. I am basically a character in the Mr. Beast show, more like an actor than if anything. And I guess my character arc led me down a path of trying to appeal to the woke media. But that time is up, libtards. I'm gonna switch gears and start expressing my love for Andrew Tate. Buck up, little boys, because Chris is gonna escape the Matrix. It's hard to tell when Chris is being serious or not. Sometimes he'll express himself in a very clear and concise manner of what he plans to do with his life. Other times he likes to make jokes of the situation. Either way, I do have an issue with how Chris responds to criticism and controversy because he's had this bad habit of not giving people the time of day even when they send messages to him. Here's a good example of that. I miss the old days of Mr. Beast when Chris wouldn't act like this. Now look at how Chris responds to this. It seems like he's dismissing this comment entirely. Shut up you little libtard rap bastard moron. You like Mr. Beast so much? How about we do a video where we drive a semi truck through your fucking house and end it with setting off 5 tons of pipe bombs while we fortnite dance outside your house as you explode into ashes. It didn't feel right for Chris to make comments like that to someone who just randomly sending a tweet expressing sadness of the old days of Mr. Beast without controversy. Chris, you can't just threaten people with violence just because they say things you don't like. You're just gonna scare people away from you. Think about the Mr. Beast brand. People won't buy the burgers as much if they're afraid of you driving through their homes with a semi truck. Sometime after that tweet, people were talking about how Mr. Beast was gonna fire Chris, and that's when this video came out. I'm not, well, I know I'm not. I know I'm gonna get hate, but the truth is, we had to get rid of Chris. <laughs> nah, no way, this is real. <laughs> no way! Chris is gone! Chris is gone! It might seem a bit harsh to kick a personal friend out of the Mr. Beast team after Chris has been there for so long, but Chris went off the deep end. He started to act insane, unhinged, and uncontrollable. It wasn't long until many people were expressing they were afraid of Chris and the potential impact he could have on their lives. For example, look at this innocent comment that this one person made. I'm so sick of the Chris Tyson controversy, I just wish he would leave at this point instead of ruining a channel I like simply by causing drama. Now look at how Chris responds to this message. I'm so sick of little pussy boys like you commenting like that, so say goodbye to your parents because you'll never see them again after I hire a bunch of goons in ski masks and put your precious parents in a van and drive away. If you ever want to see them again, you better send a video to me of you crying saying how much you love the Mr. Beast Burger, little boy. I hate to say it, but Chris is a threat to those around him. His nature of being a psychopath that will explode your entire house on a whim just because you said something mean to him means he's not only a threat to the lives of Mr. Beast fans, but also the Mr. Beast brand itself. To the people who've been threatened by Chris Tyson, I hope you stay safe and keep your doors locked.